What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. You ain't already subscribed. So, last night we witnessed David Benavidez put a beating down on Demetrius Andrade, man. It was a super good fight, though. Uh, and before I get all the way into it, I actually uh, got a little more respect for Demetrius Andrade, man. He actually fought his heart out, came up to 168 or whatever, but um, this was like probably his second fight at 168. But you know, man, David Benavidez, man, I picked him too. And I, I just, I don't see nobody at 168 uh, messing with David Benavidez, bro. Bro, just, he too much, bro. He, he punched too hard. Uh, he, it's like he wore down on you. Because he started out with Demetrius Andrade, you know what I'm saying? Uh, David Benavidez filling him out or whatever. So Demetrius Andrade kind of like was trying to come forward. Uh, turn David Benavidez work him on the inside because usually if you watch for instance if you watch earlier this year you watch Caleb Platt when he fought uh, David Benavidez he, he, he was moving around a lot and that's typically how a lot of people try to fight him they do a lot of moving on the back foot or whatever and you know that never works so you know what everybody else does when they fight it gives hard punches to try to come forward go toward the power and and Demetrius was he was unsuccessful, bro. He was unsuccessful. He couldn't he couldn't do nothing with that dude, man. Yeah, he was throwing some little flurries or whatever, but to me, David Benavidez, that's a pretty good defense. Like a lot of that stuff was like he was parrying and just going off the club. Some of it was on the end though, but not a whole lot. Uh and then it was like I don't know if it was the third or fourth round. I think it was the fourth when uh, Dave Benavidez started going more to Andrade's body. Once he started going to his body, man, that shit was, he, I feel like that's what really did it. Even though he hit him with that big right, but I think what really like <laughs> put his feet in the mud was that, you know what I'm saying? Going to his body, turning his body up like he was hitting him. Bro, that shit was hella hard, bro. He was hitting him hella hard to the body. And that shit right there took all the air out of him. So then, after that, he was there to finish taking the beating. You know what I'm saying? Um, Demetrius Andrade, he was, he was definitely fighting back. He just couldn't get that dude off of him. He didn't have no power. Because not only did he come up for one season, he was never like this vicious puncher anyway. So he didn't have enough power to keep him up off of him. You know what I'm saying? All he was doing was just coming up with his guard, blocking and parrying his shit, and then get to letting off his offense. And eventually, all the moving around and shit, that shit, it was over. He couldn't move around because he's already beating him to the body. So, yeah, man. That, that shit. I fuck with uh, David Benavidez, though. I don't see nobody beating him. Not even Jamal. I don't see Jamal beating him. So, Jamal. He missed weight or whatever, which tell you he really like a 168 pounder. He missed weight or whatever, but he he he, he ain't gonna be able to, he ain't gonna be able to beat him. He got a good job though, but I can't see Jamal beating David, and I don't see Canelo beating him. So like I said, I don't see nobody beating him at 147 at all, bro. I mean, why I say 147, <laughs> 168? I don't see nobody beating him. How? How is you gonna beat this big motherfucker, man? Dude is big as hell, bro. Dude is hella big, bro. Huge. You know what I'm saying? I think Canelo ducking David Benavidez, he should have been fought him, but I think what Canelo trying to do is wait till it's so hard for him to make the weight. Then try to fight. Nah, get your ass in there. And fight the, Mex the real Mexican monster. <laughs> the real Mexican monster. I got David whooping Canelo ass, too. Because he throw way more punches. Hit harder. He do got to watch out for some of them counters or whatever from Canelo. C Canelo does have very high IQ. You got to watch out for some of them left hooks and shit like that. Because uh, Boo Boo was able to get in a lot of little sneaky looks. But he crafty, man. So that's credit to Boo Boo. He crafty. He, he got a nice skill set. It just, he was fighting. 
the bigger, the stronger, more relentless, like, he can do shit with him, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, so, yeah, man, I think Dave Benavidez runs the 168 division, bro. This is his division. He own that shit, man. This is his division. Ain't nobody gonna beat him at that weight class. I'm willing to bet on that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, good ass fight last night. They put on a hell of a show. Um, this is what I want to see now. I want to see Jamal fight Caleb because he slapped him. You got to fight him. You got to slap. Anytime a man slap you, every time you see him, you got to do something to him. So, you got, you got, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no Jamal versus Canal. Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. You got to fight fucking Caleb, right? David fight Canelo. And Dryde, he get the winner out of Jamal and, uh, what's the boy? And, and Caleb. He get the winner or loser. It doesn't matter. Because I don't even look at Demetrius and Dryde like, like, you know what I'm saying? You know how people be like, you need to retire or whatever after you lose. I think he's still straight. He's still good. He got beat the hell up, up though. He got beat down for sure, but I think he's straight. I think he can get his ass in there with the winner or loser of Jamal versus Caleb playing. You know, I'm playing matchmaker right now. So I think that need to happen, man. Yeah, uh, yeah man. Good ass fight, though. But I'm rocking with that Vinny V there, man. I ain't going to fake it. I think he the best at 168. He gonna have to take his ass 175 against Better B and goddamn Demetrius Bobal. Them type of guys gonna be the, have to be the guys that kind of like test him because at 168 he just too he he, he too strong. Bro. You know what I'm saying? And he throw too many punches. He fast. He strong. Like yeah, man. He ain't gonna be able. To fuck. <laughs> he ain't gonna be able to fuck with him. <laughs> he gotta go to a new weight class because 168 he got that shit on lock. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, y'all. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the fights last night. And subscribe if you ain't already subscribed. And I'm out, y'all. Deuces.